What's cooking folks, Vermillion Phoenix here, and today I'm jumping into some more Orcs with Stye Unchained. This time, I'm going to be doing Rift Instability with Bianca. Now, this is the weekly challenge for the week of January 31st, 2017. And uh, Bianca has pretty much the most damage out of the crew, so she should be one of the most solid clear options for you. Shouldn't be too much of a challenge, but you're still going to want to place the ballista in the right place to part. So let's go over that and see what we can do to get that completed. All right, here we go. So Bianca doesn't have too many attacks that deal like more damage than her regular attack. However, the base damage for all of her attacks is super high. So you don't really have to worry about which attacks to choose with her. Um, basically, the way that it works is her regular attack is a uh, is a cleaving melee attack, so it hits a wide area. Uh, her right click attack is a small area, like a small AOE that you can actually give like slow abilities to through weavers later on. And then uh, her Q doesn't deal any damage initially. Uh, there is, I think, her third tier of weavers actually allows you to select what you want its bonus ability to be and uh, normally it just knocks enemies into the air for a small period of time you can have it either stun them when it when they land uh, deal damage or use it to trigger traps uh, personally I find that because she's particularly slow uh, having it stun enemies is actually quite useful uh, the damage is okay but she already deals enough of that the stun gives you more time to deal more damage than just adding damage to the ability and then uh, her most important ability, uh, which is beat them back. You push E, she gets a medium ranged attack, which does about three units worth of space damage uh, to every enemy that's in front of her. If you have enemies grouped up in any meaningful way, uh, she will essentially just battering ram through all of them. And uh, it will cause knockback to everything except for bosses, I believe. Used to knock back bosses prior to the 1.7 patch, but uh, I guess they deemed that was a bit too uh, good. She could basically just one-shot bosses by knocking them off cliffs, and that was that that was great. But people asked for it to be toned down, which I think was a bit much. But we'll see how things go as the game progresses and moves closer towards uh, you know a full release. Either way, we're gonna start with the same usual four ballistas up here for this challenge uh, they'll take care of the original ballistas that we will have to fight off and we're gonna go ahead and get started now Bianca will probably not have to make use of the lightning ring so we're not gonna have to worry about her mana as much but she has a significant movement speed penalty compared to every other character in the game however it only takes her about four attacks to destroy an unstable rift so as long as you can get to the rifts they are as good as gone okay we need both of those watch out an unstable rift is opening all right and destroy it Unstable rift is open. It must be destroyed. One, two, three, four. That's done. All right, and then we're gonna drop oh, two yeah. ballista in there. If you want, you can actually choose to drop no, no, two there. No, yeah. And uh, if we're lucky, they should be able to kill that particular uh, the uh, unstable rift forest. Jeez. Couldn't think of what it was called for a second. So you can see, I can't even get back here before these guys actually start spawning. And that's mainly just because of slow movement speed. That is a serious thing. However, her damage is crazy high. So I'm just bowling over pretty much everything here. And the thing is, this is after about, I think, a 33% nerf. Whoa. Didn't think they'd actually fire enough arrows at me that I'd have to worry about it, but they did. Alright, so... I ain't the unchanged leader for nope. Gonna leave those there. Watch out! An unstable rift is opening! Get to it and destroy it! 
so you deal more damage than the ballistas do. Uh, the ballistas deal about as much damage as I think uh, a single hit from Bianca with two shots, just about. So you could basically solo all of these if you wanted. Alright, now the best thing for me to do from here is actually wait here. No, no, wait, wrong way. I need to actually be moving Quick, destroy it. up here. An unstable rift is open. That was actually destroy a really it. bad move there too, because Bianca is, is Quick, destroy it. so slow that uh, not having her in the right position when things start. Uh, that one's a bit too far in. I only need one hit there though, so that's not bad. Uh, the one benefit of me actually having that rift there open up is that it will get me a few more pickups if I'm lucky. This one is definitely going to be destroyed. And now here I think the only issue is just going to be getting to it in time. That guy I'm not going to be able to catch. Or can I? Let me try to... Oh, no. thought I was a little bit slower. I was not. That is going to waste me a whole lot of time, though. It's a gift from me to me. Thank you. Alright, so destroyed. unstable rift down there. We're going to let open. We don't have the cash to deal with it. To so that one's going to open, and we will want to destroy this guy back here, too. That should leave us with, uh, I think, two before and uh, two mountain trolls to deal with. They've summoned a boss minion. So the mountain trolls should be pretty easy. The one that's in there already, we should basically just be able to allow it to get destroyed by the ballista. And two before has to be knocked down by Bianca. So let's have his mom literally beat him down. Oh, and I missed that shot completely. And there we go. Five stars. Nice. Now, pretty much every character that is not Black Paw is usually going to get a slower clear. So, if you're looking for a high score, I would still recommend doing this with Black Paw. Though, Bianca can easily get you the five stars. So, that's clearing Rift Instability with Bianca. Not bad at all. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, as always, drop those in the comment section below. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the characters. You know, this particular weekly challenge, I think it's interesting, but I feel like it's more of a play on uh, what they did with one of the older challenges where basically you just had to figure out which Unstable Rift money bags was coming from and uh, make sure that you took him out. But they actually allowed uh, more of those rifts to open up and give you time for it so that you could fight the minions whereas here it's pretty much just about making sure that you get the rifts destroyed as soon as possible and i think while this one was somewhat interesting uh it's just not as engaging to play just because there's not as many minions to actually fight but either way that's all for now uh thanks again as always for watching and until next time guys have a good one